In these problems, we're being given a function that's a quadratic, and we're being asked to match it to a graph. And you should know that a quadratic is going to be this parabola shape, this U shape, either an upward opening parabola like these, or maybe a downward opening parabola like that. Now to match an equation to a graph, you could just start picking points, plug in values for x, crank out values for y, and see if they match what's on the graph. That actually is a foolproof way of doing it, although it takes a fair amount of work. There are some shortcuts you should know about. One of them, of course, is to look at the coefficient of the x squared term. And if it's positive, you know it's going to be upward opening. In this one, we don't have any choice, so we can't eliminate those. They're all upward opening. The next shortcut that I would suggest is finding the vertex. And in this case, well, the vertex formula is going to be negative b over 2a. So in this case, it's going to be negative negative 4 over 2. So that's 4 over 2, or just 2. So that's the x-coordinate of the vertex. To get the y-coordinate, we plug that back in. See, 2 squared would be 4, minus 4 times 2 would be 8, plus 1. 4 minus 8 is negative 4, plus 1. So it's 2, comma, negative 3. So that's our vertex. So which of these graphs seems to have the point 2, negative 3, and 1 just stands out? It's right there. Another thing you could do, if you wanted to double check, you can always solve this equation. Solve it. Try to find the zeros of this function. Where um, you set the function equal to zero, that's, that's these points right here where the function crosses the x-axis. So let's take a look at doing that. I'm going to use the quadratic equation here. Negative b would be positive 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4ac, so that'd be minus 4, <clears throat> so that uh, all over 2a, so that'd be over 2. So I would get 4 over 2, that's 2, plus or minus, and this is the square root of 12, which would be 2 times the square root of 3 over 2. So that's really just 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. Now 2 plus or minus the square root of 3 looks like it's going to be pretty close to 0, because the square root of 3 is close to 2, and then uh, close to 4 or so. And lo and behold, there you have it, right there. So those are two quick ways to check uh, a graph. Let's look at this next one. Now this one's pretty simple, because the very basic, the mother of all quadratic functions, is just the plain old y equals x squared. And y equals x squared would have an upward opening parabola with the vertex at 0, 0. What this negative 1 does is just move that down 1. So we're going to look for an upward opening parabola, so these are out, whose vertex is at 0, negative 1. And there we have it. So that's B. Let's look at one more. All right, here we have x squared plus 4x minus 4. And this is going to be an upward opening parabola, of course, and all of these are. What I would suggest here is that we go ahead and try to find the vertex. So negative b over 2a, that's going to be negative 4 over 2, or the x-coordinate is negative 2. And if we put a negative 2 in here, we'd get 4 minus 8 minus 4. So it looks like it's going to be negative 2 comma negative 8 for our vertex. So if we got one that seems to have a negative 2, negative 8, well, and one of these stands out for the vertex. If you really wanted to double check, you could go ahead and find the zeros, and you'd see that they match up uh, there. So that's a little bit about uh, matching quadratic equations to their graphs.